very well today. Mm -hmm. uh, really, the only threat that, uh, that we've seen is uh, the Pikachu Ditto uh, brought about by Varen, mm -hmm. but his Pikachu's been playing very, very well, and I'm, I, I think that if he just keeps on doing what he's doing, he's gonna be uh, doing well, especially because Sheen has had some holes in his armor uh, today. He uh, lost earlier to uh, to Mike, mm -hmm. to Mike's Cloud, and has had some rough games in between, so. Yeah. Dropped a game to me earlier in Losers. Yeah, it. I mean, Sheen's looking a little bit ragged, but he did just reverse 3-0 after losing two games uh, in in Losers Finals. So maybe that momentum will carry him through. It remains to be seen. Yeah, if you're coming from Losers bracket, you definitely have a huge amount of momentum going in there, and it's it's kind of an advantage. But like that advantage is very much offset by the fact that you have to win two sets. Exactly. Not to mention that fatigue can easily set in. So. I so mean, she Sheen's got six games to win. Let's see if he can do it. Got the momentum coming from losers, but um, also definitely, you know, Sheik's a little more button heavy, so you got maybe some fatigue setting in as well. Right. Uh, this matchup is pretty even from everything I've seen because Pikachu actually has the frame data to keep up with Sheik. Yeah. Um, and they both require reads at high percents in order to seal out their kills. So... It, or, or gimping, and neither one can really gimp the other. Yeah. So Pikachu having a very evasive recovery and Sheik as well. Right, and Sheik being just completely invulnerable. So I think it'll really come down to these two players knowing each other and getting those reads. Yeah, I'm really excited to see a lot of like really call big callouts by because these two players seen each other so much. Sure. Hopefully we'll get that. I mean, he he went for a roll there that didn't happen. Okay, nice snare there, safe. Ooh, not quite though, could have been dangerous. Really good punish for an edge guard attempt. Now, these two haven't played yet today in bracket, but they no. did face in the crew battle, and uh, sh I believe Sheen uh, two stocked Hoenn, like he had only one stock left. Uh, Hoenn ended up uh, sealing it out at the end. Oh, okay, did uh, I get that backwards? Yes, Okay. because yeah. uh, Sage didn't even get to play on our team. Okay. Uh, but it was very close. Uh, it, and uh, ooh, ooh, very good edge guard. Yeah, I'm not sure if I 100% agree with that thunder. Um, just you know, Sheen kind of called it out and said, "Oh, you're going to be an end lag from that move. I'm going to go out off stage and hit you with a move." And uh, Hoenn missing the tech uh, definitely cost him there. Right, and it was almost a problem there again. If he hadn't bounced up above the stage, it was a stage spike opportunity. But it, it worked out. I mean, we've st we've sealed the stock. We're back to pretty much neutral with four minutes left. Yep. And nice grab there to get out of the Pikachu pressure. Both of them are falling out of each other's combos, which is interesting. Like, their guaranteed setups are getting immediate, like, power shielded and just air dodged out of. So... Usually you see big combos from both these players, and neither... That was very dangerous. Hoenn, don't scare me like that. Oh, man. Oh, I'm completely missing on that back air. Right. Um. Like, I, I, I see some just missed opportunities here, and I'm not sure what exactly is the cause. Yeah. Both these players at a very even percent. Uh, ooh, that Thunder almost connected there. Okay, uh, I'm not actually sure what happened there. It looked like Sheik's back air hit, but Pikachu didn't take any knockback or damage uh, from it. I believe it clanked with uh, with the quick attack. And Sheen just goes a little bit too deep. Mm -hmm. And SDs for game one. Cohen needs two more wins to seal out the tournament. Sheen still yep. needs six. And now, I'm not really sure if the counter pick advantage is that big of a deal in this matchup. Um, both of the characters like the stage doesn't matter that much um it will if either one of them gets their best stage okay uh, i final destination uh will probably tip towards sheik's favor because mm -hmm. pikachu has no platforms to play on whatsoever mm -hmm. 
whereas Lilat will be Pikachu's playground. Quick attack cancels oh, yeah. all over the place. Yeah. I'd say secondarily, uh, Smashville is going to uh, lean towards Sheik's favor, whereas Dreamland is going to go towards Pikachu's. So it's really Town and City and Lilat, which are going to be, or not Town and City, and uh, uh, Town and City and Duck Hunt, which are going to be the two that we may or may not seem, but will be a little bit more even in comparison. And we see uh, an Omega stage picked here. Um, and that was Hoenn won game one, so that makes a lot of sense for Sheik to want to go there. Absolutely. No platform play means that uh, Pikachu has less options to run away. Yeah. He has less options to cancel off. He literally has to play on the same playing field as Sheik. Yeah. No edge cancel, uh, quick attacks or anything like that. Right. Now, on the other hand, I mean, they both have a lot more degree of aerial freedom with which to move in, but it just leaves them, it could leave them more open to catch for landings to be caught. Yeah. And uh, Pikachu does have a pretty good tool to get back on stage, so landing isn't going to be a huge issue with the quick attack. Right. Um, but still, like you were saying about the even ground being a huge benefit for Sheik. Absolutely. And we do see Sheen definitely taking advantage of that. Uh, it's off to a, a pretty sizable lead I'm at this point. I'm surprised there was no punish there. I mean, or even there. After those grounded quick attacks that are outside of, uh, or like within punish range, Pikachu does have a lot of blending lag, and I think Sheik has enough time to get out of shield and at least get a dash attack or something. But he's dropped it twice now. I don't know if he doesn't want to risk it or what. Very good edge guard. Yeah. Okay, and, and that'll that seal it. Not quite. Okay. No okay. rage. Could have been very dangerous uh, just a few seconds ago, but that'll okay. do it. Up smash being a really, really powerful tool. Um, Once again, so one stock, low percent, four minutes ish. I mean, I think this is going to be a pattern with these two going so even. I love that thunder. That frame one thunder to get out of the F tilt jab mess that he was yeah. in. Very smart. Hoenn's trying to be everywhere that uh, Sheen doesn't expect him to be, but Sheik is still being able, just able to catch up to him no matter where he goes, especially in those windows, as I was saying, where Quick Attack lands. In this matchup, Pikachu really would appreciate some place to land that isn't nearly as punishable. Good recovery there. Okay. I was expecting a grab punish there by Hoenn, but he goes for the auto cancel down air instead. Yeah. And that's good damage. I mean, that's that's going to be 10 plus. Now, I'm not really sure if I agree with these uh these quick attack approaches because Sheen just seems to be avoiding them and taking almost no damage from them. I don't think they're approaches. Right. I, yeah. I think he's just trying to be somewhere that Sheen doesn't expect in neutral. Uh, and Sheen was just not having it. He's just like, okay, you're here, you're here, you're here. Mm -hmm. Punish. Mm -hmm. And he punished with the forward smash there to seal that game off. Yeah. It definitely cost uh, Hoenn the game, I think. Yeah, I think he just didn't really know what to do without those platforms to help him sure. out. Um, we'll see how this goes now on Hoenn's counter pick. If I were him, I would take Sheik to Lilat or Dreamland. Yeah. And is, is there uh, bands in, in three out of fives? No. Okay. Oh. One band? One band. Okay. One band. You're right. We're no longer on a six-stage list. We're on a seven-stage list. So Sheen's band is probably going to be Lilap, which mm -hmm. means we're going to Dreamland. The low ceiling definitely going to help with those kills, with the uh, up smash being a really safe kill option for Pikachu. It's going to help with the up smash, it's going to help with the thunder, but it's also going to help Sheik with vanish and uh, up air. So it's really, that's not the advantage that's on this stage. The advantage is, as Varen taught me earlier, uh, there's a lot of mobility and quick attack cancel opportunities uh, at the stage. Tri-platform layouts are great because it, uh, it's very easy to short hop and get right at the right angle to cancel onto yeah. those corners. On top of that, uh, if you quick attack towards the direction that w Wispy is flowing, 
you uh, automatically quick attack cancel. Okay, I didn't know that about the quick attack cancel. Yeah. Uh, Varen ta taught us that earlier, and it's, it's a very handy tr trick to know because you have to be very careful about your spacing in relationship to Pikachu at the stage. That'll Ooh, be do it. Yep, going for like the kind of sort of tech chase in midair situation there with the DI. Oh, uh, yeah, it's not even a tech chase. Hoenn says that he can react oh. to uh, the uh, DI, and if he if you don't if you mess up the air dodge, he'll catch you in it and just murder you. Yeah. And it's especially hard to react to because when you're up in the blast zone, you don't exactly know what your spacing is. Mm -hmm. And you kind of just want to mash out that panic air dodge as soon as possible, and right. no one can catch that. Okay, I think that was probably a misinput on Sheen's probably, part. Probably, but I, he's not getting punished for it. No. So it wasn't the worst option I've seen. Okay. And Pikachu gets similar to Mario where he can just ladder his uh, combos on tri-platform stages. Yeah. yeah I really uh, hate fighting Mario and Pikachu on a tri-platform stage. Sure. Um, now, does you were talking about the uh, edge cancels. Aside oh, from beautiful. Ooh. Just catches that forward air attempt. Yeah. Uh, yes, your question about the edge cancels. Uh, is that same option not available on Battlefield? No, it's only when Wispy is yeah. blowing. But with the platform that, do you still get yes. the... Yes. Um, mm -hmm. In fact, Esam has a great video on that if you haven't checked it out. Uh, he'll show you exactly where you need to be and what angles to do it to catch pretty much every quick attack cancel on Battlefield. And it uh -huh. works just the same way on Dreamland. Except for the additional uh, Wispy cancel. Right. That's a different tech. Uh, but... Um, if, if you just short hop and uh, angle it so that you're at a triangle under the main platform, you'll easily be able to to uh, quick attack to the other side of the and cancel the other side of the platform. And we see a switch to Captain Falcon here. Uh, Sheen does not like to be called a Captain Falcon main. I am actually not a fan of this pick. Uh, Getting called out by Sheen in mid set. I didn't realize he could hear me. But uh, Captain Falcon, known for his explosive uh, and powerful moves and speed, but he's going to be outsped by Pikachu. Yeah. And uh, both in terms of frame data and in terms of just movement overall. And whereas with uh, Sheik versus Pikachu, neither of the characters can edge guard each other really well, I think Pikachu does actually do a good, pretty good job of edge guarding Captain Falcon. A really good job of edge guarding Captain Falcon. So, now I, what I can appreciate is uh, changing characters mid set to throw someone off of the download. Yeah. Like, if they're getting it in your head and reading your habits, switching it up to do something different is not a, a, always the worst idea. But it was for a big read there on the knee. Uh, Miss spaces, I think, slightly. Just slightly. But he got, I think he got the read. He just. Absolutely. Yeah. So that knee would have been brutal if it landed. And Pikachu would have just been done at like 65 <laughs> with that spacing, just done. Okay, Ooh. Owen getting the read too, but also missed spacing, and that would have also led to a pretty early stock. I don't think so. Uh, Falcon is heavy, and okay. it's, uh, oh, misses the grab on the reach back of Raptor Boost. That was pretty cute there by uh, by Sheen. Sheen is proving me wrong. I mean, he's definitely keeping up in this matchup. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Cohen doesn't get the gimp. Tries nope. for the quick attack to reach out and grab him, but misses that too. That'll seal it. Just getting the very tip of Falcon's toes. That's the other thing, is Pikachu's going to be a much smaller hitbox than Falcon, and Falcon's going to be bigger than Sheik was, so <laughs> Pikachu's combos are going to be just that brutal. much easier. Oh, okay. Not quite. Yeah. Back to even percent. Cohen with a taking a slight lead here, uh, despite losing the first stock. But you know, oh, oh, that'll okay. do it. <laughs> Just as I was about to say, Falcon is a very explosive character, so that and, lead and he explodes yeah. all over Pikachu's face. Phrasing. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, it looks like they're discussing something about the match. Well, Sheen did prove me wrong. We'll mm -hmm. see if he can get the the bracket reset. And let's see. Uh, Hoenn can't go back to Battlefield or Dreamland. Dreamland. So he's lost both of his tri-platform stages. Sheen probably banned Lilac, okay. meaning, uh, as I said, we're gonna. It's either gonna be Town and City or or we just played on Town City. It's either gonna be. Okay, cool. they're going back to Battlefield. They're going back to Battlefield. <laughs> I guess Gene agreed to it. Now, Falcon does do well on this stage. Uh, he can capitalize off the platforms as well. Yeah, I, I don't. I definitely don't disagree with Gene letting gentlemen in here. Sure, especially because it's a different character. It's not Dave Stewart's rule isn't as in effect for its purpose. Yeah. Ooh, nice tech big there. stomp. Getting out of any f potential follow-ups that Captain Falcon had with that tech. And Pikachu kind of just all over Captain Falcon here. Yeah, he's just attacking him from different angles, trying to keep him off balance, and I think it's very smart. Yeah. But he's not quite keeping up with the damage. Mm -hmm. I mean, Captain Falcon is getting these straight hits, and like the straight hits are just doing more damage than all of Pikachu's... like. Short little strings. Right. Well, Pikachu's strings will max out at low percents at about 30, yeah. whereas that's two Falcon hits. Yeah. Okay, covering the mistech there with that down air. Ooh. Frame trapping him with that double up air. Yeah. Not quite sealing out the stock, though. And Skullbash was a good option, uh, stalling his momentum just the tiniest bit get back to ledge. I think it'll come down to who can steal steal this stock right now. Now yeah. Pikachu with Rage is a scary. Okay, it doesn't go for a Thunder Reed there. No. Uh, I think he, uh, I think he with like, With the DI, it was yeah. not really workable. Yeah. I think he thought that Sheen, or Sheen was going to DI to the right, and then she ended up DIing to the left. Mm -hmm. Oh, missed the ledge grab there. Ooh. but Up throw will do it 163. Sheen, Ooh. no one has presents there. No yeah. that up throw would kill. I think uh, Hoenn might be trying to bait out the air dodge with these uh, up throws, and Sheen's just not biting. Yeah, and uh, Sheen's actually mixing up his DI pretty well from yeah. what I can tell, so... Oh, and gets a stage spike. I'm always impressed by Hoenn's edge guards. Mm -hmm. Three hits, 44%. Oh my god. <laughs> That's showing why Captain Falcon was keeping up with damage on that last stock. And see, as I said, they only really go to 30 or so. Yeah. And like, Hoenn had to string together like 10 hits in order to get that damage. <laughs> Absolutely. And it was three Captain Falcon hits. Ooh. Stuff in that uh, quick attack approach with the down, or the down oh. array before too. I always get so scared. I always get so scared that he's just going to go off the side. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Hoenn's labbed those angles a lot. Um, he has, but we saw a, a, one SD earlier in one of his sets, so it's not... Reading that roll there, that's going to be... That'll do it. Yeah. That's a tournament. Yeah. Just There's one read seals it out. Mm -hmm. Very good play from both of these players. Yeah. Congrats to both of them. Sheen taking second and Hoenn taking first. And I really liked that read because it was it was actually pretty low committal. He ran up, waited to see if Sheen rolled, and then he was able to react. Absolutely. If Sheen rolled, he could throw out the up smash. If not, he just kind of had center stage still. Yep. Very smart. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's our show. Thanks, yeah. everybody, for tuning in to another wonderful Sunday Smash at GHQ. Um, I'm blind. This is Psy Guy. Yep. We'll see you next week. Yeah, thanks for letting me on the mic, by the way. Absolutely. It was a pleasure. Yep. Thank you. Oops. Have a good night, guys. Good night.